Hey everyone, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to install an HP LED conversion kit by lights into an existing Source 4. You will need a screw gun or a screwdriver, a smaller screwdriver, a crescent wrench, and some safety gloves. So let's start by taking apart the source floor. First, we're going to have to come up here, we're going to unscrew this bottom knot all the way until the whole light bulb assembly comes apart. Set that aside. Next, we're going to remove this screw right here, followed by the nut on the other side of the housing. We're going to loosen it up until we can just take it sideways and pop it up. Just like that. Now, go ahead and just set aside the lens for now. I will post a link in the description on the proper way to remove the reflector. However, I found this to be quite difficult. Right, this is the easiest way I have found to remove the reflector out of the back end of a Source 4. So we're going to take a plastic bag and put the back of the Source 4 in the plastic bag like this. And since you're not going to need the reflector anymore, since we're replacing it with the conversion kit, this is what I do. Now, this is why you wear safety gloves, because now you have a bit of glass to clean up. So what I do is I put all the pieces through it, and now all the glass pieces are sitting nice and neat in the bag. So next I went outside and I just blew off any excess glass or any excess dust that's inside of the housing. Now we're just going to set this aside and we're going to pull out the uh, HP LED conversion kit. The kit comes in two parts, the main, the main unit and the control unit that will be uh, sitting in the back of the uh, source floor. Now we're going to remove it from its packaging. And here's the lens and uh, the whole unit. And you can see the front has a nice lens. Next, we're going to remove the silver ring from the back of the housing. And there you go. It is ready to be installed into the source floor. All right, next we're going to take the unit, we're going to flip it over, and we're going to work it down the housing of the source floor. So once you get the, the silver ring connected to the unit, you want to make sure you have all three of your cables readily accessible. You have three different kinds. You have a black one, a little red one, and a white cable. You'll see on the control panel there are there's a white connector, a black connector, and a red connector sitting a little way back in the back there. And now we're just going to go ahead and connect up the connectors. Now let's take this bolt 
Let's uh, combine it up with the uh, insert screw hole right there. the last step before we reconnect the unit with the lens. You want to take a M4 screw and a locking nut and put the grounding wire to that outer housing. Now some source boards might come with the little screw, little M4 screws, and some might not. You can easily find these screws at your local hardware store. There you go. Here's the front end of the uh, HP LED conversion inside of the source board. And there's the back end. So next we're going to take the main unit and connect it to the lens. You'll notice that there are small arrows on both the unit housing and the lens. You want to line those up just like that and then turn it sideways until it drops down. And then you just kind of line those back up again. And then screw down both screws. And there you have it, an HP LED inside of a source form. So next, we're just going to check the connections and the data to make sure that everything is working smoothly. Now we have full DMX control.